Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hello, everybody. So my day job is a teacher, and I look after a sick form like you guys, and I teach uh, biology and geography and a bit of politics. Um, but in the evenings, I have a very serious interest, I suppose, in neuroscience and the brain. Right, I'm going to talk about uh, synaptic pruning. I'm going to talk about plasticity. Uh, I am uh, Jeremy Dudman Jones, and I'm an assistant head teacher at Greenford High School um, in Ealing. Um, I have an interest in neuroscience and uh, brain stuff in particular, and I've just been giving a presentation of about an hour um, to students from Ricelip, and there are about 200 of them. They all seem to be very interested, so I was pleased with the turnout, very impressive. So I've been invited here very kindly by Ricelip High School to offer this uh, insight to you lot as well, so aren't you lucky? <laughs> no? Yeah, she's lucky. She feels she is. So I learned things I didn't know before, which is really good. People who would normally find themselves interested in things like this found themselves learning something new and getting into it. Normally we get speakers that come in this talk for like hours on end, or not hours on end, but like an hour, Seems two like hours, it. yeah, it feels like a long time. You get, interact more with the crowd and sort of get onto our wavelength, so you talk like, sort of engage with the youngsters. Okay, we only use 10% of our brain. Hands out if you think that's true, obviously. Keep staring, keep staring. Keep staring at the dot on the nose. Don't laugh or giggle, just stare at the dot of the nose. Okay, look at the white. They are all year 12 and 13 students, so they're currently studying for their A-levels. I thought it was just going to be students that were interested in psychology and biology that would come along, but no, there were students that from, from all of the disciplines, from all of the subject areas. Because it isn't just about psychology, is it? It's not just about students that want to go off and do medicine or study psychology. Everybody should know how to get the best out of their brains. It's quite interesting to learn about how our brains work as a whole and how my parents' brains might work differently to mine. Your parents' brains? Yeah. You think they work differently? <laughs> but they could work slightly differently because they're obviously older, they've gone through, they've had a lot more experiences than me, so... This is the 14, 17-year-old brain. You start to prune those connections away because you start to decide that you're not interested in things. And if you're not interested in things, then your brain realises that there's no point keeping those connections. And so what it does is it snips them away. They all wanted to hang around at the end and ask questions. There were um, a, yeah, a thunderous round of applause. I was very impressed with the, um, uh, the interaction. I didn't really understand the, like, how physical learning was like, mm. in the brain. And especially when you sleep, I didn't know that you could forget memories. I think it's appropriate to take this presentation to teachers and students, I have to say. In the past, I have felt that there's a greater emphasis on uh, teachers, um, and I think it's really important, certainly with the work that I'm doing at my own school, um, students, the feedback I get from students about the sort of me metacognition and uh, how memory works, for example, is really, really rewarding, and they all feel that it's entirely appropriate that all students sit through these talks on brain, brain stuff, metacognition. But yes, increasingly, um, I think we should look at presentations to uh, young people. Smile on your face. <laughs> yes? No? Drugs? You like them? Drug of choice? Caffeine? A bit embarrassing front teachers? Caffeine? I'm giving you a get out of here. Yeah, caffeine. Not the other C word. <laughs>